we have collected the best 2D MMORPG games, ranging from old hits to relatively new and not so well-known projects. Join this channel to get access to perks and help us to get better. Ultima Online those who have long spent part of their lives in MNORPG worlds remember how hardcore many of the old games were. It was difficult to swing, and it was painful to receive from the monsters. That is why many, instead of trying something fresh, return to projects like Ultima Online. This is one of the very first representatives of the genre, and the first MNORPG to gain popularity, which says a lot. There is no pumping that we are used to, you will have to download each skill separately, and you won't be able to develop everything. If you die, valuable loot can be removed from you, and even outrage over a lifeless body. Improving a skill with a simple click will not work, the only option is to constantly use it. And if you want to get a house, just take it and build it. By the way, Ultima Online got into the Guinness Book of Records in several categories at once. Ragnarok Online Imagine a mixture of Asian manga and Norse mythology, this is R.O. Once Midgard survived a terrible war between gods, people and demons, which fortunately, ended with the signing of peace for 1,000 years. Since then, a lot of time has passed, and the terms of the agreement are violated every now and then. The magical barrier separating the worlds is crumbling. In such difficult conditions, you have to travel the world of Ragnarok Online. Guild Wars are well implemented in RO, the essence of which is to capture castles, complex builds, and leveling up professions. Among other things, here you can even get married and adopt someone. And this is not just for fun, such social interactions provide useful benefits. Lineage Every MMORPG fan has at least heard about Lineage 2, but few people know anything about the first part even though it was she who brought Ensis off popularity back in 1998. While the West was going crazy over Ultima Online, the East was plowing the expanses of lineage with might and main. In the first lineage, the developers have relied on a developed political and economic system, massive battles, and you need items from bosses, without which it is impossible to craft the right thing. Lineage basically became a pioneer in terms of group raids. In general, the gameplay is built on endless grinding, farming bosses, and killing your neighbor. In 2011, Lineage's American servers were closed, but if you know Korean, Japanese, or Chinese, there is good news for you. Asian servers are still working. Realm of the Mad God This fun game with graphics and the spirit of classic 8-bit games has managed the almost impossible to cross the gameplay of two very different genres, like MNORPG and Bullet Hell. It looks like this. Together with other pixel heroes, your character kills mobs, gradually pumping skills and getting useful loot. As soon as you feel that you are strong enough, you can go to fight with a boss, attacking hundreds of shells at the same time, killing which will allow you to pump your character even more. Death here is irreversible, and after death, you will forever lose your favorite character. As a consolation, this will give you renowned points based on your performance, which can be spent on equipment for a new character. RPG Mo This old-school MMORPG takes gamers back in the heyday of the genre's monsters Ultima and RuneScape. It was these games that were largely inspired by the authors of this project, so here you will find 2D pixel graphics, a complex and thoughtful crafting system, endless development of your hero, 18 different skills are available without any cap. A classic fantasy setting and complete freedom of action. All this splendor is complemented by a huge amount of content, because despite the fact that the project is still in early access, it already has 40 biomes, 300 pets, and more than 3,000 types of weapons and armor. Bit Heroes if you're into classic Final Fantasy titles and more modern reimaginings like Epic Battle Fantasy, then Bit Heroes is the game for you. In this hybrid of MMORPG and pixelated dungeon crawl, you will find procedural level generation, a cool crafting and equipment upgrade system, 
epic turn-based battles of your party with various mobs and powerful bosses and, of course, excellent humor. At the same time, unlike most single-player variations on the retro FF theme, there are full-fledged online modes like PvP Arena and Clan Wars. The project is also available as a mobile application. You won't have to worry about creating a character in Elseword for a long time. We are immediately given a choice of six ready-made heroes with their own characteristics. Some of them replicate class abilities that are quite typical for MNORPGs, and some are quite exotic. The gameplay is a little different from the classics of the genre, but the nice thing is that you can't go out on cool clothes alone in battle. You need to try not to get hit, run, attack, besides, there is a combo system, if you don't take it seriously, it's hardly you can do something extraordinary. In Elseword, socialization is not imposed, but welcomed after all, going to dungeons alone is a so-so prospect. Despite the fact that the project is free to play, donation solves little here and is not able to fundamentally upset the balance. Warspear Online One of the nice features of Warspear Online is cross-platform, while the appearance of the game remains unchanged. The picture may seem outdated even for 2008, when Warspear Online was born, but this gives it a special charm rather than spoils the gameplay. Everywhere here the spirit of Ultima Online hovers, which apparently inspired the developers. Leveling in Warspear is mostly quest-based and quite long, but this time will fly by unnoticed by connoisseurs of a good atmosphere, because among other things, the project boasts an interesting plot. Naturally, there are monsters, dungeons and other mass entertainment, guild wars, castle sieges. At the same time, there is no auto-selection of the path and autoboy here at all. At the beginning, you have four classes to choose from, but with one of the updates, relics were introduced into the game. Items that allow you to change the combat abilities of a character beyond recognition. Fantasy Tales Online This pixelated fantasy MMORPG in a classic style invites you to take part in clearing the intricate dungeons from the monsters inhabiting them, insidious traps, ingenious riddles, and of course, countless treasures. The extracted values can be spent not only on improving the armor and weapons of the character, but also on building your own house, which will gradually turn from a crooked shack into a real chick palace. After hot battles, it will be possible to relax in the tavern, where it is easy to find not only cold ale, but also new friends and of course, new quests. In general, the project creates the feeling of a solid party in the good old D&D. Total Influence It turns out that during World War II, Nikola Tesla gathered a group of high-class scientists, with whom he managed to accomplish the incredible, to open a portal to a parallel world. Naturally, whole groups of researchers immediately began to be sent there. But Tesla died, and with him many secrets of the portal. Half a century later, the project was reopened, and it's your turn to go into the unknown. In terms of gameplay, the game is very, very reminiscent of the unforgettable Fallout. While it is attractive with the presence of key MMORPG elements and the gloomy atmosphere, post-apocalyptic hopelessness make you immerse yourself in this mysterious parallel world. Haven and Hearth is a free-to-play MMORPG created by two Swedish students inspired by Slavic and Germanic mythology. Considering that the game is developed on the Java engine, everything looks very good here. You are waiting for travel on a huge map, which in some places is even unknown. You can do anything in this world. Collect resources, of which there are a lot of types, download professions, hunt, fight, build, and even take on the duties of the leader of the settlement. At the same time, there is a system of skills that depends on your characteristics, and they directly depend on what and how much you eat. Death in Haven and Hearth is permanent, so take care of your nerves. Dofus is a cute 2D game released by the French company Ancama Games in 2004. Over the years of its existence, the project has found millions of fans around the world, but it is still especially dearly loved in its homeland. From 2004 to 2006, Dofus received several awards. Let's figure out why. The choice of classes here is so wide that hardly anyone will be left unsatisfied. 
In addition, as you level up, you can choose from a bunch of professions, mounts, development paths, there are a lot of social, combat, and economic opportunities, and turn-based battles are where you can demonstrate your talent as a strategist in all its glory. The quests are also not boring, there is also a funny play on words and references to famous books and films. MapleStory MapleStory is a 2D MMORPG game with Anon graphics and all the classic elements of the genre, created by Wizard in 2003. Everything is simple here. Create a character, choose a class, and set off on an adventure. The newborn hero will have to travel the world, complete quests, destroy monsters, fight bosses, participate in PvP battles. In general, everything is familiar, fun, and cute. The options for interaction between players are as wide as in other MNORPGs. You can chat, trade, gather in groups to complete quests, kill especially harmful bosses, and just for fun, create entire guilds and even combine virtual marriage. Dark Eden is a 2D MMORPG dedicated to the confrontation between humans and vampires. True, you will hardly meet anyone here other than vampires, despite the fact that there are three races available in the game. Why is that? Firstly, where else to go to lovers of vampire aesthetics, if not in a project in which their favorite bloodsuckers play, if not the main, then an important role. Secondly, there is no smell of balance here. Vampires are stronger than other races. They don't even need weapons to be cool and effective fighters. Even killing a bloodsucker is fraught with consequences. The player receives a debuff that after 12 hours will turn him into a vampire. So he has to undergo a purification. And so it happened. A vampire sits on a vampire and drives a vampire. Most of the content in the online game is designed for level 150 plus. So many people don't want to level up on their own. It's easier to find an already upgraded player who will quickly drag you to the desired level. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.